Assalamu alaikum in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful this is virtual class of Pakistan International School Thai I am Muhammad Yaseen this English class is for the students of grade 5 we are doing chapter 6 today this is our 17th video in this class in our today's lesson we shall learn to write a letter to our friend to congratulate him on his success we shall develop understanding of the passage given in this chapter then we shall do exercises given at the end of this chapter let us start from the letter dear students you are very well familiar with the layout of the letter to write a letter first of all we write our address the date then we address the person to whom we are going to write a letter for example we write my dear father my dear mother my dear brother and so on then we write the content what we want to write for example in this letter we want to congratulate our friend we shall tell him how we came to know that he or she has passed an exam that he or she has passed an examination then we shall say him or her congratulations at the end we shall close our letter by saying yours affectionately your yours sincerely uh, let us start our lesson dear students i shall give you a sample letter here just now you can change it you can add whatever you want you can leave whatever you want that will be your own letter let us see what i have written in this sample letter that i have prepared for you instead of address i have written here examination hall city abc or taif you can write then here will be date whatever the date on that day is can be written here then i have written my dear friend I received your letter yesterday. I am glad to know that you have passed the fourth grade examination. It is really very pleasing for me and my parents. Congratulations to you, my friend. May God bless you always with success. Say salam to all at home. Yours sincerely, XYZ. Dear students, this is the sample letter that I have prepared for you. You can prepare this one for your examination. You can change it also. As I told you before, language is simple, vocabulary is simple. You are familiar with all sentence structures and words used in this letter. I think there is no problem for you. Let us move forward. Hmm. Dear students, we shall start our lesson 6 today that is about the snakes. I have written here some of the words. Uh, for example, worms. Worms are small creature with long thin body they have. I have given here a picture also. What is a worm? Worm is a small creature, long thin body eyelid is the upper part of our eye that is used to close our eye twist means to turn something around squeeze means to press something firmly swallow to eat something without chewing after having some understanding of these words let us move forward dear students this is the picture that is given at first page of your lesson as this lesson is about the snakes dear students I have divided the passage given in this lesson in parts to make it more visible to read it easily by looking from the computer screen let us start reading dear students there are about 2500 different kinds of snakes some are only a few centimeters long but some may reach a length of seven and a half meters 
although there are many different kinds they are all similar in some ways yes what are the ways in which they are similar to eat to crawl yes this is the next part of our lesson they are all long and thin these are the ways uh, by which we can say they are similar they are long and thin they like worms they are long and thin just like worms this like worms does not mean they like worms to eat no this means they are long and thin just like worms although they have no legs they move smoothly over the ground they have eyes but they have no eyelids it is worth noting that they don't have eyelids so they cannot close their eyes they have no ears they have tongues which are long and forked at the end they use their tongues to feel smell and taste if you watch a snake you will see its tongue going in and out all the time why snake is taking its tongue out and in all the time it is to smell to feel yes students let us move to the next part of our lesson here it is written although snakes have teeth they do not chew their food like us yes their sharp teeth pointed backwards in their mouth when they catch an animal in their teeth it cannot get free and the snake cannot let it go it must swallow the animal fortunately they can open their jaws very wide a small snake can swallow a frog yes or even a rabbit quite easily some snakes are poisonous they have two special teeth which are long and which can point forwards when the snake bites an animal with these teeth poison runs down to teeth and into the blood of the animal the animal usually dies yes students this is the next part of our lesson let us read some snakes are very poisonous they can kill big animals or even men and women this is why snakes are dangerous and people are afraid of them most snakes in pakistan are not poisonous and even the poisonous snakes do not usually attack people when people are bitten by snakes it is usually accidental the snake does not attack on purpose perhaps the person stepped on it without seeing it or frightened it and the snake was trying to defend itself yes students in next part of the lesson what is written here one very poisonous snake is the cobra which may be one or two meters long the king cobra may be three and a half meter long yes students mostly it is one or two meters but it can become three and a half meters long it is very poisonous but it does not usually attack people it eats other snakes the mother cobra lays eggs with baby cobras inside if you find a mother cobra guarding her eggs she may attack you dear students in the next part of our lesson what is mentioned here another poisonous snake is the crate it is much smaller than the cobra but it is much more poisonous yes students crate is the snake which is so smaller very much smaller than the cobra but it is much more poisonous than the cobra it usually sleeps during the day but if you step on one at night it will bite some very big snakes are not poisonous they twist their long bodies around an animal and squeeze it until it is dead then they swallow it dear students this was the last part of our lesson after reading 
I think you have got some understanding of the passage. You have noted in your mind the main points about the snakes. With the help of these main points which are in our mind, we shall do the exercises given at the end of this lesson. Let us start the first exercise. Dear students, in first exercise we are set to choose the best answer. Snakes do not have any. What is the thing that snakes don't have? Eyes, tongues, teeth, eyelids, mouths. Yes students, we have read the lesson. We have found some information that they have eyes but they have no eyelids. So they cannot close their eyes. What is the thing that they don't have? They don't have eyelids. That is why our correct option will be D. Now we shall choose this option as correct option. Let us move to the next part. Some snakes poison animals with their... Yes students, we have read in the lesson that a snake can poison any other animal. With the help of what? With the help of tail, tongue, teeth, teeth, mouth. There are teeth of two types. Teeth that point forward and teeth that point backward. I think the teeth that point backward are used to swallow food. These can be there. Let us see in the lesson. Here it is written. Some snakes are poisonous. They have two special teeth which are long and which can point forwards. When the snake bites, an animal cannot go. Yes, students. Snakes have teeth that point forward. They use these teeth to poison other animals. That is why our correct option will be C. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yes, students, we have done two parts of this exercise. Let us move forward to do the next part. Here you can see snakes can swallow big animals because they have what they have with the help of which they can swallow big animals. Sharp teeth, wide jaws, oh, big heads, long bodies, long tongues. Let us look in the lesson. We can see fortunately they can open their jaws very wide. They have wide jaws. Wide jaws will be our correct option. Let us choose it. Come to the next part. A king cobra, a king cobra may reach a length of. Dear students, we have read it is about three and a half meter. We can see here the king cobra may be three and a half meters long. Dear students, I have taken this text from the lesson. Let us choose our C part because that is the correct one. Dear students, we have done first exercise of this lesson. After this, we are going to start the second exercise. In this exercise, what are we set to do? We are set to put a tick by the true sentences and a cross by the untrue ones. Let us read the first one sentence. All snakes are the same length. Do they have the same length? Oh no. Few centimeters long. Mostly snakes are few centimeters long. But some may reach a length of seven and a half meters. This means the statement which is given here, all snakes are the same length, this is untrue. Let us write untrue, we shall put a cross. Yes students, let us move to the next part. In next part it is written, snakes like to eat worms. Dear students, in the lesson it is not clear do they like to eat worms or not. I have found that snakes eat worms. This is correct. Snakes eat worms. But they like to eat worms or not? I have found the answer no. Dear students, 
we eat so many things but when we are asked what do you like to eat there may be one or two things that we like to eat but we eat so many things when we are hungry about the snake i could not find a snake like to eat worms that is why i am going to put here a cross if you find any information about this statement that a snake like to eat worms you can share with me i could not find it is not clear in this lesson also that is why i have written here a cross you will find some videos where a snake is eating worm that is correct but do they like to eat worms i could not find that is why i have written here cross yes students the next part is a snake's eyes are always open yes they are always open because they don't have eyelids so they cannot close that is correct option a snake's teeth always point backward dear students we have read about the teeth which point forward also yes it is written here special teeth which are long and which can point forward not backward only that is why we have put here a cross a snake smells with its tongue yes it is correct snake uses its tongue to feel to smell to taste that is okay this is correct option when a snake bites something it cannot let it go yes students this part is correct also this is due to uh, when they catch an animal in their teeth it cannot get free and snake cannot let it go dear students this is due to backward pointing teeth a snake cannot let it go this is a true statement let us move forward most snakes in pakistan are dangerous dear students it is not like this most are not dangerous we can see the statement here most snakes snakes in pakistan are not poisonous dear students i have taken this statement in the, from the lesson that is why this statement will also be untrue the most dangerous snake in the king is the king cobra dear students it is wrong we have learned about the crate in fact another poisonous snake is the crate it is much smaller than the cobra but it is much more poisonous yes this is more dangerous that is why we shall put a cross over there yes students this uh, is the exercise that we have finished let us move to the next exercise that is exercise 3 Dear students let us read the instructions read the examples and then change the sentences in the same way given sentences although it was raining they went outside how shall we complete we shall not write this although in our answer we shall write it was raining directly we shall write the first sentence without writing this although then instead of comma we shall write here but then second sentence will be there and in this way we shall complete our answer the same is done here in second example also although is not written in our answer instead of comma there is written but and we have completed our answer we shall write the answers of this exercise in the same way let us start our answer what will be the answer snakes have teeth but they do not chew their food yes what we learned in the example that i have given here also in our answer there will not be although and instead of comma there will be but by using this rule we shall complete the next answer the next one and the next one let us move to part e yes students by using the same rule we shall not write although in our answer 
we our answer will be the sun was shining but they felt cold let us write the sun was shining but they felt cold in the same way we shall complete our next answers he was hungry but he could not eat anything what have we done here we have left the word although and we have replaced this comma by writing but dear students we have completed exercise 3 let us move to exercise 4 Yes students let us read the instructions given to do this exercise read the examples and then change the sentences in the same way the building was burning fiercely but the fireman went inside we shall add although in the beginning of the sentence and then here if we notice but is replaced with comma dear students if you notice can you see this exercise is exactly opposite to our exercise 3 yes in exercise 3 we left although and we replaced comma by but but in this exercise we shall add although and we shall replace but by comma this exercise is looking to me exactly opposite to our exercise 3 okay let us do it yes students it was a holiday how shall we complete we shall add although in the beginning and we shall replace but by a comma let us do the same thing with the part b we shall add although here in the beginning and we shall replace this but by comma although some people were crossing the road comma the car did not slow down what will be the next answer it will be although it was raining heavily comma the game of football continued let us write the answer Yes next answer will be although the desk was heavy comma maruf was able to carry it let us write the answer yes students we have completed four parts of our exercise 4 let us move to the next part of this exercise what will be the answer we shall add although in the beginning and we shall replace but with comma although the children were late comma the lesson had not begun let us write the answer in this way we shall complete all these answers in the beginning although and replace but by comma yes we have completed this exercise yes dear students you are looking exercise 5 on the screen of your computer let us read the instructions to do this exercise these sentences are in wrong order put them in the right order dear students you have done exercises of this type before also as i told you here are some of the things that has happened we have to arrange them in a sequence in which they happened for example she filled her bucket with water help she cried and dropped the bucket of water the little girl went down to the stream to fetch some water it quickly it quickly slid away into the long grass The snake was frightened by the noise. Then she saw a snake by the side of the stream. Dear string, dear students, try to find out what happened first. The thing that happened first will be our first sentence. 
Look, here is written, the little girl went down to the stream. Here is written, she filled her bucket with water. Which sentence will be the first one? The little girl went down to stream. This will be the first one. Let us write it first. What will be our first sentence? The little girl went down to the stream. What will be the second one? She filled her bucket with water. What will be the third sentence? The third one will be Then she saw a snake by the side of the stream. Then what happened? Which sentence will be the fourth one? The fourth one will be when she saw the snake, she cried, help, and dropped the bucket of water. Yes, when she dropped the bucket of water, what happened then? Which sentence will be number five? The snake was frightened by the noise. And then what happened? It quickly slid away into the long grass. This will be sentence number six. Yes, students, this will be the correct sequence of the sentences. If we arrange these sentences in this sequence, they will make a story. Dear students, we have completed our exercise 5. Now we shall move to the next exercise. That is exercise 6. Let us read the instructions and try to find out what are we said to do here in this exercise. Write this out. This means write this, these lines, these sentences again, adding punctuation marks and capital letters. Oh yes, dear students, we shall write these sentences once again, but if we notice, there are no capital letters, no full stops, no commas. We shall add punctuation marks and write these sentences once again. Let us start from the first line. Dear students, the first thing is, first letter of each sentence is always capital. The first thing is, we shall write first letter of each sentence capital. What is that in the grass? If we look at the sentence, it looks like a Question. Asked Tom. Tom T will be capital. At the end there will be full stop. Dear students, what is that in the grass? If we notice, if we try to understand, these words are said by Tom. And if we write someone other's words, we put them in inverted commas. In this way, our first line will become, what is that in the grass? I'm sorry. At the end of the sentence, there will be a full stop. T for Tom will be capital. This will be question mark because what is that in the grass is a question. And we shall write this sentence in inverted commas. In this way, how many changes we shall make in first line? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 changes will be made in first line to correct it. Let us move to the second line. It's like It looks like a snake. This will be in inverted commas. I will be capital. Here will be comma. Z for Zohra will be capital. Comma. Don't touch it. Don't touch it will also be in inverted commas. And at the end there will be a full stop. In this way, this answer will become like this. It looks like a snake, comma, it will be in inverted commas, first letter is capital, Z for Zohra is capital, don't touch it. Here we have written full stop, here can be comma also, if we consider both the parts of a one sentence, of a single sentence. Yes, students, let us move to the third line, no, it, it, it isn't, said Peter, it's only a piece of rope. No will be in inverted commas. It isn't. Sorry, no. After no, there will be comma. It isn't. This whole will be in inverted commas. Here will be apostrophe. 
then here will be comma said peter p for peter will be capital because first letter of a name is always capital its here will be apostrophe only a piece of rope this whole will be an inverted commas and our answer will become like this no it isn't inverted commas are there said peter p is capital full stop is here it's only a piece of rope will be in inverted commas this is apostrophe not inverted comma closed inverted comma is closed here dear students this was our exercise 6 we have done it after doing this we have completed our lesson this will be your homework you will learn and write the letter that we did in the beginning of our today's lesson you will read the whole passage given in this lesson to develop some more understanding of the lesson then do all the exercises that we did in this lesson that will be your homework there are two days to do the homework given in one video dear students that is all from our today's lesson see you later in another video goodbye